we're sitting in a 2012 AEV Rubicon. This Rubicon has a L86 LT engine and an 8090 transmission. This 8090 transmission is not only very strong, but it's one of the best shifting transmissions out there. This transmission can shift as fast as you want. We're going to do a comparison between this transmission and a six-speed manual. This transmission will hold over 700 foot-pounds of torque. It has a 4.6 low first gear and a 0.6 overdrive. Now I'm going to bring it back into the manual gate. I don't know if you can see that, and it says we're in first gear. One of the modes of this transmission is maximum gear. So we can bump it up, let's say to third, and I can launch and it'll upshift to third and then stop. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to bring it back here into first. We're going to launch and we're going to manually shift this. This transmission also has gear lock and some other modes that you can check out on my other videos. So we're in first gear right now at about 450, 500 RPM in this LT, and these LTs have a lot of torque. They're like diesels. So it's hard to keep traction even with these uh, 37 and 40 inch tires. So let's launch with this L86. I'll manually shift it, then we'll compare it to a 6L80. Here we go. Roll it on a little. That's just a little bit of throttle, guys. And you can see how fast that transmission shifts. Faster than you can shift with a clutch. Here we are in an early JK, and this build has a L94, which is a 6.2 Gen 4 truck motor, and a Tremec 6-speed, which is basically the transmission that came out of a Camaro. This is a pretty awesome transmission. We've rigged it up so it looks exactly like a stock JK. If you look down here at the shifter, we've got the stock shifter and boot, etc. So let's go for a little ride. You'll notice the Prindle's lit up on the dash. That's our Mocan doing that. There's a setting to turn it off, which we'll, we'll do here before it ships. I grew up with manual transmissions. The old Muncie M21s, Borg Warners, and the Camaros, Mustangs, whatever. But I gotta say, today, maybe it's because I'm an old fart, but new automatic transmissions really have an advantage in my opinion. We've got good torque in the 6.2 so we can pull away in third even at low speed. Yeah, this engine doesn't have the torque that the LT has. The LTs are just crazy with their torque. And when you combine that with the torque multiplication of a torque converter and then the torque converter clutch, which can lock it up, you really get the best of both worlds. Most of these newer transmissions like the 6L80 are clutch to clutch type transmissions and low friction, low heat. They have a lot of advantages of the manual. So, while I want the manual, I love driving them. They're fun for a while. I prefer the automatic especially in traffic. Now, you're never going to get everybody to agree on this. The manual has some advantages, and the automatic has some advantages. You can't do, have both. So, pick what you like. This transmission is very strong compared to the NSG370, which came in this vehicle. You're not going to break it. So, let's see how this thing does in acceleration. And we're not going to hammer on it, but we're going to go into first gear going to roll it on. We don't want to break anything. I think you can see that you can shift the manual pretty quick, but you're still not going to match the automatic. The modern breed of automatics simply have a different level of performance than the earlier automatics did. However, I will say that the manual can have some efficiencies that the automatics don't have. So, take your choice. We'll be doing a video on this manual build coming up soon. Thanks.